Last week, we told you that some insurers are dropping policyholders and not writing new policies based on the age of your home's roof. Many of you responded and were not happy. Today, we are diving deeper into Florida's property insurance problem. So insurers blame excessive litigation. Well, News 6 investigator Lewis Bolden found the number of lawsuits has been on a steady decline. But will your rates decline? An expert in the field weighs in. To me, it's just not right that insurance companies are allowed to do this. That was Sharon Landry's reaction when she saw the premium for her homeowner's insurance policy surge from $1,318 a year to $2,153 a year, a more than 60% increase. It kind of throws you into a panic mode. Tens of thousands of Floridians have seen their premiums increase over the last year and a half. Others, like Susie Blanchard, are being dropped altogether. It's very stressful. It makes me angry um, as well. The property insurance market in Florida is very volatile right now. Mark Friedlander with the Insurance Information Institute, which is an association of insurers, says the biggest reason for the turbulence in the market is fraud and lawsuits. Fraudulent roofing claims and frivolous lawsuits uh, that are really off the scale this year. When the companies claim litigation is the problem, it's a red herring issue. Bernie Birnbaum is the executive director of the Center for Economic Justice, which has as one of its missions, keeping insurance affordable. He has testified before Congress on insurance issues. I've worked on these issues for over 20 years. He says litigation is not as widespread as insurers claim. The data shows that it's a handful of companies that are experiencing that explosion in litigation. And that suggests that there's an issue with the regulatory oversight of claim settlement practices for those companies. Florida's Office of Insurance Regulation also pointed to excessive litigation. But New Six has learned lawsuits have been on a steady decline in recent months, according to Case Glide, a litigation tracking company. In July of 2021, there were more than 6,500 new claims filed. But by December of 21, that number was down almost half for the month, based on information from Florida's 17 largest property insurers. Three insurers saw a decrease of at least 20% in December. Three others had decreases between 10% and 19%, according to Case Glide. It's just been year after year of insurance companies coming in and saying the problem is litigation, the problem is litigation. Some believe the decline is directly related to the Florida legislature passing Senate Bill 76, which took effect last July. Part of it sets rules for lawsuits against property insurers, including the amount of attorney's fees. But Birnbaum says he doubts the decline will make a difference in what consumers pay in premiums. They get the laws that they want passed that reduce consumers' access to the courts, and yet the rates never go down. The Office of Insurance Regulation tells News 6 Senate Bill 76 will help stabilize rates for consumers, but they say it will take time. We'll have to wait and see. Getting results, I'm Lewis Bolden, News 6.